Manifold combo. Man, this combo is gonna blow your mind. That's a really nice board, bro. That's a great board. It would be a shame if I search Super Poly every single turn. Metaphos are not dead. I don't know whoever decided to stop playing Metaphos. Screw off. I play Metaphos I want to. I play any deck I want to. I'm the pen god. Metaphos are nice, and they always have been. Especially with this broken new combo, my boy Yasin figured out. You see, yes, I am the pendulum god, everyone knows this, but there's only one Metaphos god. His name is Yasin. You guys are about to see exactly why searching super polymerization. That's right, baby. Searching it every single turn. You guys are about to witness what true greatness actually is. So, if you guys like Metaphos and if you guys are a fan of the channel, hit the like button. Bro, hit the smash it. Smash that like button. Smash the thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button! And hey, do your boy Yasin a favor. Man, he's one of the nicest guys I know. So if you also has a channel, go give his channel a look as well. With that being said, without further ado, check out the amazing Metaphor Comp Tutorial. Enjoy the video. Hey, hey everyone, my name is Yasin. In case you guys didn't know, I am the Metaphor's guy. Because pendulums are the best deck. Steven, you are right. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And today I'm coming at you guys with the best Metal Pose True Draco combo video you will ever see in your life. Without further ado, let's get on to it. Alright, so we're gonna start with the combo. So for this, all you need really is Rescue Rabbit, uh, Draconic Diagram, and Dark Worm. Note that the Dark Worm can actually be just like Foolish Burial and Shrine. Um, however, when you see this hand, what's the first thing you think about? Um, a lot of people would just go, you know, normal summon rescue rabbit, make a lecture, and do some plays off of here. However, there's something really cool that you can do. Uh, so we're actually not gonna use the rabbit right now. We're going to go with diagram, and then use the effect to destroy the dark worm from hand. So it is destroyed, and we can search for a Draco spell or trap from our deck to our hand. So we are going to search for either heritage or disciples. It is irrelevant which one you search. Uh, it doesn't change anything, but just for the purpose of the video, we're gonna search heritage and then now we have no monsters So we can special summon the dark room from the grave use the effect and search gate zero So now we have three cards we have gate zero rabbit and heritage uh, so now by the way, the Dark Worm can be any column, it doesn't matter. We're gonna go Normal Summon Rescue Rabbit and use the effect. So Banish itself and Special Summon two Metal Foes from the deck. And they have to be specifically two Metal Foes stealing. It cannot be anything else. And the reason for that is because Rabbit has to specifically summon level 4 or lowers. And you, very, you absolutely need high skills for this combo to work. Otherwise, you won't even be able to Pendulum Summon. Well, I mean, you... It, you might be able to, but it's going to rely on the other cards in your hand. So now you're going to be Link summoning the one of the Steelin and the Dark Worm for the best card in the, in the whole game, Electrum, our boy. And we're going to use the effect on summon. And do you guys remember Pendulum FTK? This deck, this deck was nuts because it abused the gate cards better than any other deck and it actually played the other gate. And this deck is the first deck since Pendulum of TK that's actually playing Gate Infinity for an actual purpose. So we're going to send this card, you're going to see soon enough what we're gonna do. And now we're going to use the effect of Electrum to actually pop the diagram because it is no longer needed. And we can recycle Steelin, which is the skill. So now as you can see, we have three cards in our hand. We have Steelin, Gate Zero, and Heritage. So we have full pendulum scales. So we're actually going to activate every single card. Um, I hope you guys can see better like this. Now we can use the effect of stealing and pop the heritage. And we can set any metal foes, spell or trap directly from our deck to our field. We're going to set the combination. It is now set. And in a separate chain link, heritage will trigger to destroy any spell or trap on the field. We can destroy our own cards with the Draco cards. So we destroy our own combination, which gets us an instant search. We're just gonna go ahead and search the strongest metal foe. So full flame. And now we're ready for a pendulum summon. So we can bring back the Dark Worm, the Gate Infinity here, and the Vulflame here. 
And now the first thing we're gonna do, we do we're not using the effect of Electrum yet. It's, um, well, I mean, to draw. It's going to come up really soon. So we're going to link up the Dark Worm for Guard Dragon LP. And this is the cute part. <laughs> so this is like a two-in-one that I really like. We're going to use Gate Infinity to destroy the Metal Foe Steelin. So both are destroyed. You get back the Dark Worm. Gate, um, the the Steelin was uh, left the field, so Electrum will actually draw you a card. So you're drawing any random card. And now, in a separate chain, Gate Infinity will trigger, uh, setting itself to the Pendulum Scale. And now, you link off the Dark Worm and the Electrum for triple burst and this is you know the standard pendulum guard dragon combo that everybody's used to uh, LP you know special summon dark worm uh, this Trudeau, sorry link of these two for a guard pain and we're gonna use the effect of a guard pain to special summon odd eyes vortex dragon so right now we didn't do anything yet and we already have a negate and we're going to get you know an even bigger board because we link off these two for the Hieratic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres. And we have a Metal Fool Steel in the field, so we can use Dark Worm to target it, and it becomes level 5. So we take 4,000, but it doesn't matter, because the opponent is not even going to be able to touch your life points. He's gonna die in 2 seconds. This board is nuts. And we're going to synchro the Dark Worm, uh, the... God, I keep calling it Dark Worm. The Strudel and the Metal Fool Steel in for... A level 7 Synchro of your choice, there are three options. There is a Clearing Synchro Dragon, a Cyber's Quantum Dragon, and an F.A. Don Dragster, which I do not currently have in my possession at the moment. I have the card, but I just don't have it. But um, Clearing Synchro Dragon is a pretty good card. You know, the double negation effect can definitely come up. And uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best Synchros that you can summon right now. And there is one final thing missing in the whole combo, and it's to use the effect of Geet Zero in the scale, so while there is gate 0 and gate infinity, you destroy both and you search one of my favorite cards of the game, Super Polymerization. Read this card. Metal Fool's Crimsonite. What do you need for it? Metal Fool's Monster? With two monsters with 3,000 or less attack. People called Starving Venom Fusion Dragon generic? People called Mud Dragon of the Swamp generic? They know nothing. Metal Fool's Crimsonite is the OG Super Poly user. It is the best card, the best deck in the whole game to abuse Super Poly, which is searchable, which also allows you to go for the Guard Dragon combo, which makes you negates. It does everything, and this is just a three card combo. You are playing your hand with five cards, you're playing so many starters, you have Rescue Hamster 2, you have so many one card Electrums, two card Electrums, so many turbo cards. You are always going for the Guard Dragon combo, it is always going to go through, and this cannot be broken. You have, how many negates is this? Vortex, Clear Wing, Hieratic Seal will get you a bounce, and then, you know, you can special summon, uh, you know, if you want, you can special summon an Aether, for example, banish a monster on your opponent's side of the field, or you can special summon Quackimeru Drago. There are so many options that you can go through, and, you know, even if he manages to play through the negates, the Super Poly is going to make sure that you will not lose the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the combo. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, no, the combo is insane. Uh, if you ever face uh, this deck in a tournament, you know, you might as well just not play the match and just sign the match slip. You know, you're the loser. Your opponent is the winner because he played the better deck, I'm sorry. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to Steven for allowing me to you know, be featured on his channel. I have a channel myself, it is Yasin656. I enjoy making combo videos, deck profiles and everything, so if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. I will be attending YCS Portland, so... Um, yeah, we'll be playing the spice as I usually do. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. That to me is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Maybe I cried a little when I saw a diagram on Dark Worm. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it's allergies. You'll never know. But the combo is fantastic. Ending on Searching Super Poly as well. Ending with the normal Guard Dragon combo. And on top of that, it's done with three cards, man. If you had another fourth Metal Full card, you're ending on an Alkahest as well. Let alone if you had another plus card, a Foolish. If you had a Diagram Dark Worm, there's so much stuff you can do here. 
But hey, all I'm saying, that, that was a great combo. That was, Metal Foes are not dead. Metal Foes are not dead. If you like Metal Foes, if you like Metal Foes, how about you hit the subscribe button? Yeah? And hit the like button while you're at it. Why don't you give my boy Austin a nice little subscribe as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Au revoir. We'll see you tomorrow's video. Peace.